What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm joined again by the arcade and I'm very happy to have uh, you guys on here because a lot is happening and I think a lot of people are waiting for some news. So what's up, guys? How's it going? What up, what up, man? Thanks for having us. I'm so, very, I'm very excited because uh, there's been a lot of updates also on the website and uh, I have to say the feature where you can change the background. I really like that feature and I like the different shape shape uh shapes background so this is a cool feature maybe you can tell us a little bit what you guys did in the last few months so yeah patrick you want to kick it off absolutely um man so the last few months have been insanely fun for us uh, mm -hmm. we've expanded our team the three of us are the founders but we've added a few key additions um hopefully they'll join us on these calls in the future but for now um we're going to keep us as a face Uh, but we made some additions. We're really honing in on gaming because we're a gaming company first. Mm -hmm. um, post IDO, we had a lot of plans that we were ready to reveal. And then we realized we wanted to take a step back and make sure that everything that we rolled out was in line with what we've done thus far and the community was kind of ready for it. We didn't want to roll out our whole tech stack and then have people wondering what's next. So we really decided to hone in and take a step back on rolling out beta features instead of trying to perfect the product at launch and just making the constant changes necessary over time. Uh, Norris and Olaf have been tremendous helps in just the vision of both the, the gaming route we want to go, but also the mathematic background behind all of it. So everything we do kind of has like a, it all makes sense. Um, we're rolling things out one at a time, but we've really decided to hone in our gaming. And the big thing that you might notice on the website currently is the earn feature, which we're kind of teasing. We mm -hmm. want us to be more than a gaming company that you can earn on our platform. We want you to be able to earn on anything that you like to play. So that's a big step in the direction that we're taking. But we also have our game Super Bowl that is in beta as well. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all I have. I'm sure some more will pop in over time. But just to kind of hone in on that, we just really focus in on the gaming aspect and just been teasing features there and there. Um, mm -hmm. Instead of trying to get it right at launch, we're trying to make the crucial mistakes early on and fix them as we go, because that's how you get a working final product. Yeah, um, I've seen a lot of games uh, on your website, which are gonna be on your website, or how is how is that gonna work? Yeah, so we added on um, Blue Blocks, King Cobra, mm -hmm. and, right, um, so those ones are currently in development. Uh, to begin, We, you won't be able to earn stars. We just want people to who have early, who are going to be granted early access, such as like our superstar bowls, to just be able to play it similar to how Super Bowl currently is. Mm -hmm. um, the game mechanics, we can get some user feedback for us as well, um, and it, you know have it a win-win for both the players and then us arcade. So once we get those mechanics down, see what the rate of people actually beating these different levels um and then fix bugs and, and once we kind of get some um some feedback there we can do some more iterations and then we will roll out our station right and then that's also attached to that with our games that we're building with our studio we are also integrating other games i'm sure you saw kazora on mm -hmm. there yeah uh, um, we have a couple other that we're in chats with as well um so nothing is specified there yet as far as numbers that's what patrick and Elof are working on right now um and then i'm working actual star station aspect of it mm -hmm. um, we would say you know hopefully uh quarter one maybe quarter two um you know we can start rolling out the actual star station mm -hmm. but it, it's time to get user feedback and, and we have you know other games we haven't even announced as well in the works so Lot, lots of excitement. Um, just like Patrick said, we are focusing mostly on gaming right now, but our existing NFT projects, uh, that's, you know, we're going to be integrating those, such as what we just did with uh, with Super Bowl. We just added yeah. the, gives you the, it gives you those superpowers to find it. So we'll, we'll be doing <laughs> like that. And, and Patrick is really a mastermind behind all that stuff. So he can speak more on that. But um, yeah, I think I, did that answer the question? Or is all the games? Um, yeah, um, but for example, if I hop over to the Wizards Arena and um, yeah, play the game there, how is it gonna work with the arcade? So I can earn uh, stars and all of that by playing uh, the game. 
and basically earn stars for your platform, right? Great question. So we haven't rolled out exactly what we would be, what you would need to do with Wizards Arena yet, um, but there'll be different, um, you know, uh, I guess challenges mm -hmm. or whatever it is that Wizards Arena decides to do, and what we're going to offer them AI access, uh, offer them ad access to be able to either grant stars manually or they can hit an endpoint within their game and do that. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're doing. We're just be opening up the API specifically to our partners, such as Wizards Arena, for example. All right, that sounds great, and. Um... Maybe about the IDO, uh, you guys told me you've been working hard on uh, IDO stuff. So I heard some questions, maybe when Arcade Utility or um, another question I heard is when the next token unlocking is going to be. So um, yeah, can you give me some some news on the IDO stuff? Sure, I'm up. Pass it to you guys. <laughs> uh, Love can speak on the tokenomics aspect and the next CG event. I believe mm -hmm. it's the 15th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, feel free to correct me on that if I'm wrong, Elof, but I believe it's December 15th is the next uh, TGE event. And yeah, Arcade, Utilities, Arcade Utility is coming. Um, I put it in our Discord general before, so for those that may check this and who are a tele Telegram user, I'll kind of touch on it. Arcade Utility is coming. Um, the big issue with rolling out direct utility right away is we need to kind of set a par value for Arcade early on. So we need to kind of get real use cases for it. The next step in that utility is going to be in-game assets. So that's, mm -hmm. I think, what makes the most sense in rolling it out, which I'll probably tease on this next uh, Super Bowl update coming in the next few weeks here. You'll be able to see a drop-down menu with Arcade something. Mm -hmm. So that's Arcade utility with that. As far as marketplace utility goes with Arcade, that's in we're, that's in discussion as well. Um, we're rolling it out one step at a time. So the first way that you'll see it is gonna be within Super Bowl, and then we'll expand on it from there. The problem is, is there's a lot of zeros when you do something like this. So if you think about a credit card reward style system where 100,000 points isn't equivalent to $100,000, it might be $2,000 in travel, but then it might be $250 at cash value. Mm -hmm. So when you take that kind of foundation and trying to make a decision around, okay, what is this worth? The power of the point system is going to be structured when you swap, like when you use arcade in the marketplace or in the game, and then you've got to look at it and be like, okay, well, if 10,000 arcade can buy me a 5k NFT, mm -hmm. but then I can swap arcade to another token or eventually to you know, USDT or cash, or whatever the case may be, KDA, then... What, like what is the real value of that? So there's a lot of moving parts when we set that price and we set those values early on. Mm -hmm. And Arcade is going to go much further within the Arcade ecosystem than it will swapping out. So that's just something that me and Alaf have really been home in doing. A lot of ones to carry, a lot of zeros to add, a lot of decimal points to put in there. But um, as far as it goes with direct utility for now, we're going to roll it out within the Super Bowl game. And then we're going to expand on it from there in the coming months, I would say. So the is the Super Bowl game gonna launch prior to the other games uh, you've added, or are they gonna gonna go live before? The uh, beta uh, version of the other games that we added will go live before, most likely before we open up Super Bowl to everyone. We're right. gonna do the Super Bowl. We're gonna do with these games that are coming out next. Does that make sense? Uh, Sphinx Cats, for example, have launched right now, and we know it's um, not Marmalade, it's the butter standard, and I don't know, uh, maybe you can elaborate again on um, Marmalade or how this is then going to look, or um, let's say how how hard is it then going to be to uh, change change to marmalade because i mean i've seen concerns uh, in on telegram on twitter and so on um but we've gone over it but maybe you want to give us a little roundup on that again so... sure yeah yeah first Sorry. off <laughs> everyone to you know i want to refer them to our article um the title something around like butter played we need some toast something like that you can find the medium article um, maybe Noah can link it to the video uh, where we kind of dive into the differences between butter, marmalade, but basically butter is simply just um, 
kind of a maybe a refactor or an extension onto onto how marmalade was uh, was created um but it's not using specifically the marmalade ledger so it's mm -hmm. along the same functions it works similar to marmalade it just has some additional features to it um it was originally developed by squeegee from um from Guyana's, um and then iterated on with kitty cad and then mm -hmm. we got together all three of us and we're like hey we should create a standard together um it was really kitty's idea and i was like let's call it butter you know because mm -hmm. just yep. on yep. the bulls and the cows and the milk and the kit cats and that you know just oh butter would be cool and it, and it complements marmalade yep was like we didn't want to take away from marmalade but we didn't believe marmalade was ready yet i mean we didn't even know it was on chain eight the beta version and it's still we don't believe fully ready yet um we saw sir lens a lot in the uh cadena discord um maybe it was in the pack channel or the general channel and one of the channels in the di in their discord just recently i think maybe two two or three weeks ago mm -hmm. um don't quote me on this. I, I'm trying to remember the exact words that he had used, but something along the lines of not having like just one ledger that's controlled by by Cadena itself. Mm -hmm. so, you know, there's still questions that they're working through and getting feedback on from the community. So we still don't believe that it's fully ready just yet. Um, but when it is, you know, we've been reached out to by Cadena themselves to help us bring over um so we would have their support when we do choose to go ahead and navigate over to the marmalade standard so we know some projects are still using it but with our vision with arcade and how we want these nfts to work and the control that we want to give the creators um we feel it's important to stick with what we're currently doing with butter until until further notice and with that being said, just what I was going to say before Nora started, I think shout out to Cadena and Marmalade. Um, by no means is this like us trying to be like, oh, butter this, butter that. This is just kind of what workings with the resources that were available at the time when we started this. Um, I think we were the second or third project to mint on Cadena. Mm -hmm. So a lot has changed in June. A lot of small mistakes and things have been made in terms of just like um, – minting and just so forth within arcade but you know in an er in a new ecosystem very early on there's going to be bugs there's going to be mistakes there's not going to be a perfect thing rolled out out of the box so none of this is against cadena or any projects that are on this this isn't meant to kind of like separate the community this is just what works for us what we're doing as a gaming company that happens to do nfts and have a marketplace and so forth mm -hmm. so I, I echo everything norris was saying um we love both and we're big supporters of the Cadena core team and Marmalade. It's just right now we're on butter for the unforeseen future until we get a bigger update with the, with, with, uh, with what next is to come with Marmalade. Sorry, to stumbling my words there, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and um, I personally, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. As I said, um, I've, I've read a lot of concerns about um, not being a Marmalade, not uh, just the arcade, I mean, in general, but I think it's it's really not that of a big deal if we if we if we know where we stand and where we're going and all of that. So, I mean, I'm still buying uh, um, uh, your NFTs and uh, a kitty cat a day. Yeah. So another question I had. Um, so the unlocking is gonna be soon, but what would you tell people or why they? shouldn't sell it maybe put it up for stake so i think if it unlocks we will be able to stake it so why why why, why should we stake it and not sell it <laughs> passive income who doesn't love passive income i mean it's i think it's still the highest apr on kd swap staking platform so it would be 30 percent if that pool hasn't filled i haven't checked in about a couple of weeks i don't think it's filled yet so you can earn and lock it over three six or 12 month mm -hmm. uh time frames and you can unlock whenever you want just at a penalty to kind of dissuade people from doing that but you're you are earning from the highest apr pool in the kd swap staking uh pools themselves mm -hmm. and again uh uh, kudos to them and what they built there. Katie Launch have done an amazing job with that platform. So, I mean, it's passive income. Uh, that's yeah. that's yeah. the selling point, right? You're earning without doing anything. 
who doesn't want to earn <laughs> arcade by just staking arcade right yeah so yep. that, that's the really cool part about it and then yeah, yeah like the, the patrick and norris were saying we've got a lot of really cool features coming so around arcade so just being able to have more arcade in your bag and being able to use it for the marketplace and for the gaming side of the arcade is really exciting so earn earn before it's too late right not yep. financial advice <laughs> i mean the, advice. <laughs> it's never financial advice right never <laughs> yeah no i mean the staking uh, rewards are pretty high and i also want to encourage everyone watching to uh, when your tokens unlock just put them to stake because that's what i really like to uh, say every time like there's so much building and a month here in the cadena ecosystem is like so long so um a lot is a lot uh can happen and uh why would you sell now if you can i don't know put it put it up for stake for three months and see where it goes i mean we uh people invested in the token to use it right so uh i think there's there's much potential in staking it so uh i'm gonna stake definitely and um about the creators so is everyone having their own key sets? I, yeah, that's the question. Because um, I don't know how it's with minted. I think, I mean, I, I heard some different stories about key sets. I don't fully understand it. So maybe you guys can explain this in quick. Actually, really cool. So what we're doing is I'm, I'm in the process right now of writing some documentation so that anyone who is verified to launch with us can go and follow these tutorials through like a git book uh, mm -hmm. read and they can go in and launch their own contracts own their own contracts mm -hmm. and if everything is in line with the guidelines that we have within there then we provide the project um and they can either launch directly and set a mint date that we all agree on uh, through a simple form on our site. So mm -hmm. this is all, you see that grayed out create tab? This is all for that, ah, right? So all right. Launch their contracts, upload their images, um, and do everything from A to Z through through our, basically like a portal mm -hmm. through our, um, and then once they're verified, they can either, like I said, mint directly on our site, or if they've already minted, they're already an existing project, mm -hmm own site or on another marketplace in the future they can just simply integrate into our secondary marketplace as well so all that is in the works and that's actually coming sooner than uh than we initially anticipated so it's it's coming pretty soon it's it's really exciting um and shout out um shout out to ilario yeah man um, he is great huge shout yeah. out to ilario awesome yeah yep ilario because because he had reached out to me about integrating wizards arena mm -hmm. um and already integrated um cam c so i guess that's a little bit alpha about with, with arena uh maybe <laughs> shared <it> yet but <laughs> building these docs, as i was building these these docs um I, I had more and more ideas to allow really just anyone to be able to to come in so we're in that process um and and you'll see uh, most likely Wizard, wizards arena will be the first to to use these docs and mm -hmm. our portal um, and then we'll open it up to, like I said, anyone who applies and is approved by the arcade team. So it's pretty fun. And and with that, key sets they'll you know they'll be owning the contract, so the key sets will all be their key sets. So, uh, but then they can also have the the ability to add um, us as a you know our key sets on there if mm. they want to be able to upgrade any of their contracts due to you know cadena's nature of having upgradable contracts especially since the whole ecosystem right now specifically within the, the nft ecosystem in cadena we're all kind of figuring it out right mm -hmm. like there's like this we're all trying to be on the same um on the same playing field here um and have the same standards especially the wallets too right mm -hmm. like all these wallets want to come out and integrate nfts well if the marketplaces and people minting on their own site if they're not all, all on the same page yep, 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 yep. for people want nfts to show up in their wallet it's going to be hard for these uh these wallet projects um to be able to 
do that. So that's what's beautiful about Cadena's upgradable contracts and, you know, Arcade having the ability to go in and, and upgrade these contracts um, for these different projects for, you know, these projects who want to launch and maybe they don't have a lot of developer experience. They don't know packed like that. And if we make an upgrade in Arcade, whether it's like, you know, something around royalties or, or whatever it is, um, we can go in and, and upgrade that with them or for them. Um, so you can do something in Pact where it's either one of any of the keys, two of the keys have to be there, um, or, but yeah, both keys have to be there, all three have to be there. So you can set different parameters for who controls these contracts. Um, but bottom line with this new create function, we're giving that power to the creator to decide. I mean, they already have that power, but now mm. they can do it themselves directly. Dude, that's great. And I think that's also going to help you um, after you get it done. Um, I think with the fees and everything, when people can start creating their NFTs also um, on your marketplace, so you can, I think, concentrate on all the gaming stuff. Uh, right. If they're accepted by the, through the yeah, arcade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And just, let me just echo something on that as well. Um, we don't just launch any project that applies with us. So mm -hmm. we, we get a lot of applications on a day-to-day -day basis and there's a lot of factors that we look into, such as quality of art, the team, um, their vision, what they've done in the community, what they do in the community. For example, you know, is this person... Are they uplifting the community? Are they have they been here since day one? Are they building, or are they making five Twitter accounts and showing their product throughout various Twitter accounts mm -hmm. and you know creating fun in the process of that? So like these are all little things that we look into. So sometimes like we get fun because of that. Like not everyone can launch with us. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that it's it, it's forever. It just might mean that right now we want to yep. see your project mature a bit more. Maybe we want to see some more engagement. Maybe we want we want to see a change in vision. Maybe we want to see, you know, it, there, it's just more than just like, hey, I'm going to launch with Arcade, so I'm going to apply to Arcade, and then we don't approve you just because there's certain things that we want to see from you. And every project that we decline, I, I personally reach out to every project that, reach, that I see come in, and I'm like, hey, at this time, you're unable to launch with us. Um, if you want a more detailed explanation, please message me on here or on my personal Twitter, at Patrick Dio, and I'll give you a reason why I personally, we personally felt like it wasn't the right time for you to launch with us. So it's not just, it, we, we don't just launch any project that comes here. We try to keep it as exclusive as possible. Um, and there's a lot of quality things that we look into when we launch a project on Arcade. Definitely. Um, I think it's also because you're not just a marketplace where you can um, and buy and sell. Uh, you're creating much, much more. And um, what also got me really excited is the 90 sports, right? So they are coming on the 1st of... January, right? And uh, this is awesome. So um, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Anything? <laughs> but it's yeah, we're in the process. We're uh, we're sharpening up some of the some of the items. We're adding a couple more, a few more items. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a list of new items our artists are working on. Kind of just last minute ones we want to throw in. Um, I believe Cody is about to open up a suggestions channel too for some last minute requests for some nineties mm -hmm. yeah. uh, or attributes. So yeah, it's common. There's not really much else to say. People holding a eighties bolts, do they get a whitelist? Yes. yes. So if you hold an eighties or a loony bull, you're automatically whitelisted. And those are the only whitelists available. We won't be running any whitelist contests for the 90s minute and if i hold a uh, 100 or so <laughs> do, do i get two <laughs> i'm not asking for me i'm asking for more okay, yeah <laughs> for syrup <laughs> yeah, syrup might like at his own one of one at this point <laughs> i swear yeah man speaking of syrup um he has a roadmap coming soon it's an alpha there so make sure you check that out as well we we have a lot in progress with syrup with both the arcade and pack rat so Make sure you pay close attention to that too in the coming months. Oh, I will definitely pay pay close attention to that, and um, I might get a few more. So, um, yeah, uh, the nineties bolts is uh, what was the price again? I... We haven't decided. Ah, we haven't all right, okay, it. okay. I, I thought we've I decided, but we haven't disclosed yet. Yeah. All right. 
So, uh, yeah, because look, look out in the next few weeks, we're going to be ramping up all the marketing for the 90s Mint. And we're going to be hosting, you know, giveaways, uh, Twitch streams once my PC is fixed. Unfortunately, I was planning on starting streams last month, but I got the uh, dreaded blue screen of death. <laughs> if anyone knows what that is so i've been, been, been spending the last couple of weeks trying to fix it uh having someone check it out tomorrow so mm-hmm. we're going to be hosting a lot a lot of giveaways competitions uh just different things taking it back to the 90s bring throwing it back bringing back that nostalgic vibe that everyone loves <laughs> what what do you guys think of the market right now i i mean cadena's been going up a little bit Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything follows Bitcoin, right? At the end of the day, Bitcoin kind of puts pressure on the rest of the altcoins. Um, and then you have catalysts like the FTX collapse that obviously don't bode well for the market. But this is definitely a builder's market. We've echoed that sentiment in mm-hmm. a lot of calls. So it kind of gives us time to step back, take a deep breath, analyze the field and just make calculated decisions without Uh, too much outside pressure on us because in a bull market i'm sure you know noah you've experienced them everything's moving at 200x the speed that it is in the bear market right so if you feel like you aren't making multiple decisions on multiple fronts on a day-to-day basis you aren't keeping up whereas in a bear market builder's market you have time to make these decisions and really really analyze the risks involved as well as kind of like the month to month outlook of how you want to build your project. So we're, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, and that's why we've been um, just providing updates on a week to week basis. Norris has started providing dev updates just to keep everyone in the loop. So it, it's exciting times for us where we're ready for the next bull market. That's what we're doing. We're just positioning ourselves for the next bull market and for the next wave of people to discover Cadena. And, and discover the arcade and everything that comes with it yeah man me too i think that's a uh, much more fun building right now i think we all know in which direction this is gonna go or is going so i don't know i think now no i mean it's gonna be fun too when the ball run starts but um i <laughs> I, i like it right now too but yeah. um As Sphinx just launched, is there anything going on with the Sphinx cats? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we mentioned it off the record, but we spoke to Sphinx early on in February. They were the first NFT project to approach us about in-game integration. Mm-hmm. And this was before we were arcade. This is when we were the Cadenables. So we have spoken to them. And we tabled the conversation as we were building our own platform and working on our own internal uh, game mechanics and Super Bowl. And then when the Sphinx came back to us and showed interest on launching on the arcade, we re- we've reopened the conversation. So there's definitely plans to integrate the Sphinx cats in whether it's their own game or Super Bowl. And that extends to all the projects that we've launched. And that's really one of the main driving forces in our decision to launch these projects is just understanding how they would fit into Mm. an arcade, into a Web 3, Web 2.5 arcade, and how we can integrate them into games and make them playable characters, uh, expand on the NFTs, whether it's in-game assets or um, tinkering with SFTs, semi-fungible tokens, right? There's a lot of avenues that we can go with it. And we see all of these NFT projects fitting into that piece of the puzzle. Right. Yeah, man. And I hope everyone now understands that uh, the arcade is focused on gaming. So there's a lot going on. And this may be the reason why not a uh, hundred projects are listed on the arcade. Um, yeah, as you heard, this is all gonna be connected to gaming and all of that so this sounds very good and uh i think sphinx cats are still minting i think about 50 percent have been minted so there is a chance 
And I stayed up nearly the whole night to get the 420, fell asleep for two hours, woke <laughs> up, and <laughs> just as I wanted to buy it, someone bought it. So, oh man, damn. But I've got number sniped. one, so that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you got the number one. Yeah, yeah I think it's around 50% minted, uh, five more days of minting to go. Mm. So, if you haven't grabbed one yet, like yeah. I said, some of the best art in yep, the yep, NFT yep, space, yep, not yep. just Kadena and in all general. NFTs mm. in general. Yeah, the most unique, best art I've seen. And I think it's on, on uh, like yeah. us being gaming centric. We believe it's one of the best utilities for NFTs, right? And that's what everyone's looking for right now is utility with their NFTs. I think that whole craze of just, it's not completely over, but the whole craze of just buying an NFT just because there's, you know, random hype around it because it's one of the first, it, it's over. And specifically on Cadena, it's like, you're, you're yeah, you're kind of one of the first, but like the the OG ones have already kind of, you know, they've already minted. Mm -hmm. So you offer something more than, um, you know, just the art. However, on the flip side, to play devil's advocate to that, if it's really, really good art, you know, that in and of itself is utility because you want to collect the really, really good mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. um, but specifically want to focus on the gaming aspect uh, or the, the, yeah, the gaming aspect, the uti that type of utility specifically um, around these NFTs. So that's the reason why we're not just launching any project yep. that approaches. Um, and we don't want to really encourage that either. We don't want to just encourage just because it's a, you know, some cool branding and, and, and this crazy, we see projects coming out with like just next level roadmaps that like, okay, mm -hmm. how are you going to do this? <laughs> Nearly every project has some gains right. in their own map. So this. Yeah. I'm... Or it's like a game among like seen different utilities that they just mm. want to add for buzzwords. And we're just yeah. not interested in that. We're interested in legit projects who know where they're going, what they want to do, and aren't spreading themselves too thin with, you know, a crazy, crazy vision that they may or may not even have the resources for. Mm. So, you know, these projects, they have really good ideas. And if they're serious about gaming, we have those resources for them as well. So um, if you have a project, you know, anyone watching has a really cool project, has a specific vision on how they want to add gaming utility to their project obviously please apply reach out talk to us yeah we review every application we had a little hiccup over the summer months uh, going into fall it was my fault i take full responsibility so if you didn't hear from us during that please send me a message and uh please accept my apology as well but we sw i made a duplicate of our form and our form that people were inputting responses to was going to one that i didn't see anymore so there was a small hiccup of, a, I want to say maybe like a four to five week window where some applications didn't get seen, but I believe I reached out to all the projects and explained and we've had calls with most of them and reached out or like, sorry. So um, please like Nora said, apply if you have a project that is now fixed. Um, and we'd love to hear from everyone, whether you have a million followers or five, we love to hear a vision, we love to see a roadmap. And we love to hear what you have. And just a tidbit, that's not even if you want to launch on the arcade launch pad. If you have an idea for a game that you want to launch exclusively on your own site, we would love hearing from you as well. We, we love piggybacking and blueprint game planning with other game devs and other visionaries in the gaming space because that's where the best ideas come. Mm -hmm. And we've heard from so many other projects uh, building on Cadena that have ideas for games that... Um, they came up with just from their own experiences because everyone has their own experience in the world of gaming growing up uh whether it's rpgs mmorpgs first person shooters you know everyone has a preference right mm -hmm. um not everyone goes into just the use the analogy of like a real life arcade and lines up just to play a single game you know yep. everyone's okay. spread out playing different games and enjoying them uh so that's that's what we want to cultivate with the arcade, and that's kind of why we've teased the earn uh, tab expanding outside of the arcade universe and into games like Kazora and Wizards Arena, and uh, hopefully more games in the future. Yeah, we're, man. we're trying to get Dad some alpha. We're trying to get Dad bought in there. Shout out to Sterling, what he's doing. Um, yeah, we're yeah, minting now. 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go grab yeah. a nap. <laughs> I hope I got number one. I don't know when you're gonna get this get this live, Noah. But uh, yeah, hopefully by the time it's live, they're still minting. If not, already sold out. Uh, <laughs> I hope thing. not. Uh, yep. <laughs> one thing I did want to add is, um, and this is this is kind of something that if you paid attention, Noah, you've been around, so you'll get it. But very early on, we started off as a cadet of bulls, and mm-hmm. you know we took a, a unique approach. Shout out to Norris and Law for that. But we took a unique approach of being like, okay, NFTs are crazy. People are probably in a hundred discords grinding it out. I believe at the time, I think the Kongs had like 31 mm-hmm. like levels or whatever it was in order to yeah. get a whitelist or something like that. Um, so people were grinding in various discord channels and we wanted to take a unique approach and be like, okay, well, you can support us. Just play games on our website and you can get a whitelist once you reach enough uh, yeah, yeah, stoppers yeah, 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 yeah. or whatever it was. So very early on, we were very gaming centric. And something that I wanted to kind of echo in here was this all was planned. Like maybe not launching projects and things like that. Like that is one thing that caught us by surprise, Mm. but that came from us just having an open conversation with people and trying to just help them out. We had a lot of people reach out to us like, Hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? And ultimately like we gave them the blueprint. We gave them advice on what to do. Mm. And then they still would come back around and be like, can you, can we launch through you guys? So that's how all of this kind of came about with the arcade launch pad, the marketplace and things like that. We wanted to do in house. We wanted people to buy, sell and trade, whatever. Um, but realistically, like since day one, our vision has kind of been on par with what we thought it would be. Like we knew we would turn into a bigger gaming company over time. And we essentially knew that like we had to rebrand ourselves, um, if we wanted people to take that seriously, you know, we didn't want people to hone in on just the fact that, oh, it's a bulls. Like we don't quite understand that. So arcade is just, it's filled with nostalgia. It's filled with the idea of like, anyone can come in and play and earn. And that's kind of what we wanted to replicate throughout our process. So for those of you that are like, oh, arcades and marketplace, arcades and March, uh, whatever, who are newer to Katana, very early on, we were very gaming centric. And the way that you mm-hmm. actually earned the whitelist within our website was through playing games in order to buy an NFT from us. So all of that kind of just evolved over the few months and it happened very quick. Like six months ago, I think we were still the bulls and um, we had what, like, I think that was website V2 doors, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so a lot has changed, man. And a lot of stuff has been kind of in the works and a lot of stuff is still in the works, but it's just very interesting for us to kind of look back and reflect to how far we've come with both arcade and the Kadena ecosystem, because Man, like six months ago, I think there was only like two projects launched. I don't even think we launched six months ago, you know, like our initial V1 collection of the Pixel Bowls of the 80s. So I don't know. It's it's really fun when we look back and reflect and have these calls. And it really just reminds us of our kind of core vision of gaming. And now we're at this point where we're launching projects, we're looking for utility, mm-hmm. we're doing all this stuff, and it's all gaming centric. So it you know, just to kind of echo what Norris and are saying, it's always been that and it always probably will be that. We're seeing a unique shift right now in NFTs and Web3 in general, kind of due to the FTX stuff and all the other things that have happened in a few months. But now I wouldn't be surprised in the next few months if NFT teams are required to fully dox. Like, I'm not yep. sure if you saw like the Utes list and those guys with D-Gods, but mm-hmm. their whole team is, has been doxing and things like that. And I feel like that's going to be an interesting step forward with just kind of the way NFTs are, because a year and a half ago, people don't care about utility. A year ago, people didn't really care about utility. Mm -hmm. And just in the last 12 months, people want utility. They want doxing. They want a roadmap. They want a website. They want a Discord. They want a Telegram. They want quality of art. Yeah, they want they want uh, public domain assets. Yeah, I mean everything, everything, everything at the the start, right? Yeah. Yeah, they want they want your company name. They want your tax (laughs) status. They want like it's it's deeper than just oh cool that's a that's a cool monkey. I'm gonna buy it, you know. And that is still true in some cases, but now people are very People, people don't want to be rugged anymore. People want to actually mm. invest into utility. And I think that's kind of the transitional, that, that's the trend that we're on right now. We're trying to stay ahead of is just making sure that we're adapting with the times and not just launching anyone. Yeah, I mean, um, I remember the, uh, I grinded for the Super Bowl role in the Discord at the beginning. I think I played Snake and the other games to <laughs> get like 50 stars or so. So um, yeah. I mean, everything you, you said is true and um, it's really been a great time. I mean, I don't know, watching you grow like from the 80s, uh, Boltzmann to now the arcade and everything, how it's all going. I mean, you are 
as <laughs> you said a few times um, here for gaming. And as Norris has said earlier, I mean, NFTs are really good for gaming. And if you remember also in the NFT bull run and all of that, um, Gary V or like other people were saying, um, like examples, like you buy a Fortnite skin in game, but this could be an NFT. And this is like actually true. And this yeah. is what you guys are also doing and Im implementing. So everything that has been set in the NFT bull run behind all the crap that that's been happening, like we are now building this and um, this is, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah. Man. Yeah. We, I, I, can, I think I can. Oh yeah. I'm just going to say, I think <laughs> I can speak for all three of us when we, we are very, very convicted in our belief that the future of NFTs are gaming. Mm -hmm. And that just comes from our experience in gaming, like you said, Fortnite or, you know, other games that incorporate season passes, battle passes, mm -hmm. different skins, and just like the uh, seamless integration that there would be if you are to introduce NFTs or SFTs. So it's been our vision from the day one to focus on gaming because it's uh, the most lucrative and the most organic uh space for nfts so we're really excited and it's still very early in yep. the gaming space especially nfts have evolved as you all have touched on with great points uh people now look for utility people aren't just looking for jpegs with uh strong communities they want real utility they want a clear-cut roadmap you know they want strong teams building these nfts because these uh, these nft companies now function as studios or as agencies and as real companies so you need to um play the part right you can't just release an nft and then sparingly provide updates on uh things that may or may not happen right whether you have the resources or not mm. so we think the focus on gaming is just natural uh, for arcade. And we think for other NFTs, we think the uh, NFT gaming space is going to boom in the That's next NFT, six months yeah, to a year. So we're excited. Uh, this is without even taking into account the big game players that have yet to come into the space, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, the Disney's or the Activision's or the respawns of the world that are, I'm sure, looking at it from the outside and analyzing their entry points so it's exciting stuff uh and that's that's we think we're well positioned for that next bull run in the gaming nft space but i'll, I'll let patrick tell his his story about vitalik and erc because that's his favorite <laughs> story you, did you did you see me smirk when you said activision <laughs> um, <laughs> no, so by the um, way my, my my cam just shut off so i'll, I'll just have audio just, just uh, so you know. No you're, worries. You're all good, man. No, I was just going to say, uh, Ethereum came from an issue that Vitalik had with World of Warcraft. So I was just going to say the two worlds of crypto, NFTs, and gaming have been very, like, have, they've been very close early on. Mm -hmm. And the synergy between the two worlds is here to stay, I think, because that's why Ethereum was kind of created from a pain point that World of Warcraft uh -huh. brought. Mm -hmm. So I just think that the two worlds are just so aligned that if you're not building something in the realm of that, then you might not, I'm not going to say you're not, you're in web three for the wrong reasons. That's not true whatsoever. Um, but I just think that if you want to do gaming, that is a proper, that is one of the best use cases that I think NFTs and F SFTs have proven to be, and they will continue to be over time. Um, and I just wanted to also say, Noah, I, I still have problems with Norris due to how hard he made earning stars in his original Tetris. So mm -hmm. I'm so sorry that you had to, <laughs> because dude i played like seven hours and i had like yeah me stars, too man i was like bro what is going on i, was, I try to, <laughs> i'm in a ton of gaming communities as well like uh -huh. something that some alpha but like i'm not going to say names but a lot of old school gaming forums for diablo counter-strike um blizz hackers mm -hmm. my god i have like 2005 and 2006 accounts that are like fit like with 10,000 plus posts from that uh -huh. era of gaming so I used to invite my friends from those discord communities into arcade to play these games and they were like Patrick tell Norris why is it so hard to earn a star this makes no sense um one of my friends refuses to still talk to Norris because of it <laughs> yeah but I was like always trying to get a star and like I I had like 
uh, to do six tries to get a star. So I said that like for three hours, got like five stars. And I was like, yeah, man, uh, 10 more days. And now I have a whitelist. <laughs> yeah, no comment. <laughs> me, me and Norris, uh, we bought, he bought Pokemon Violet. I bought Pokemon Scarlet on Switch. Um, and uh, one of, and over the weekend, I was with these guys and Norris was talking about how I think on uh, Nintendo Wii, it might've been, don't quote me on that. You had to keep it on for early GameCube. You had to keep it on for 24 hours to get YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I think Norris took that that idea and took it into stars. <laughs> like you have to have you have to play for 24 hours uh -huh. to a star or something like that. Because that was crazy. That was insane. Oh, so you remember on? I'm pretty sure it was GameCube on uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee to yeah. get to. Maybe I'm messing up. Maybe it was on Nintendo. I don't remember. But one of the games you had your console on for 24 hours straight in yeah. order for to appear <laughs> well, that's cheating <laughs> yeah so definitely want to add some more i mean speaking of that like mm -hmm. a list of ideas for easter eggs i mean we've already implemented a couple of them to super bowl um and we'll be implementing more i mean we have the existing levels right but i mean we're we're expanding on that whole universe um on the whole super bowl universe as well so There'll be more Easter eggs, more items, more enemies, more cool more stuff. Worlds. <laughs> more worlds. Exactly, yeah. So there's that city, about, the billboards. Yeah. Have we talked about the billboards? We haven't talked nope. about the billboards. We haven't Not talked yet. about the billboards. Let me know yeah. about the billboards. Yeah, I mean, I'll let Patrick go ahead and if you want to share. So if you swipe up and only for the one monthly payment of $9.99, I'll play it. Um, <laughs> Good one. <laughs> no, um, we, uh, yeah, so I believe it's level three, or wait, level three or four. I believe there's three billboards, and then there's another one, I think, on level six or seven. Do not quote me on that. That's mm -hmm. just, yeah, I look at the game much differently because I don't see the worlds. I'm just, like, in screens yeah, doing yeah, stuff, yeah. so... One of the levels, there's three billboards, and there's another standalone billboard on a later level. And we want those billboards to be able to have upcoming projects, partners, mm -hmm. um, uh, just a ton of different stuff. So right now, we are working on getting – we have the dimensions, right? We have everything right. Um, but ultimately, we're just going to hit that to an API, and we're going to tr change it out all the time with different mm -hmm. partners, different, different mint dates. I think we'll do – I'm thinking we'll do Sphinx Cats, um, the Penguins, and then us. Like, we'll have those two on there. They're the most recently implemented into the marketplace. And then we'll have mm -hmm. our date coming up. And then after that, um, we have a lot of cool stuff in store. So we'll we'll feature partners, projects that we're working with. Um, pretty much anything that we see fit in the game, we'll kind of add into there. Mm -hmm. And there also may be some Easter egg things with that as well. Um, so I don't know. I, if, I don't know if anyone speed ran Mario, Super Mario World or things like that in the past, but um you know we're going to do a lot of really cool things in the few in the coming months with uh both the billboards and super bowl but the billboards within super bowl are ultimately going to showcase people that we like that we work with and that we will be working with in the coming months and years so 2023 is gonna be epic for cadena and for the arcade yeah <laughs> and we're creating a whole we're creating a whole super bowl world you know mm. uh, we've barely scratched the surface at the moment so we're super excited i mean that's really our main focus right now is the super bowl game and, and everything that that comes from it um so and that's you know everything we had just discussed with all the features like it's cool that we'll have the star station right it's cool that mm -hmm. we integrate other nft projects it's cool that we have a marketplace but i think for me and in a lot of gamers, I mean, the, the funnest part is just entering into this world and kind of just mm -hmm. having a little escape and feeling attached to the character that you're playing and being able to grow with that character and grow in this world and learn more. So that, that's what we're doing. We're, we're creating that Super Bowl universe, and that's our main focus right now. Um, everything else is just re a really cool bonus. And we want you to play our games to enjoy it. Like we want, when you play, when you go on arcade.fun and you play Super Bowl or you're, uh, we want you to escape reality, whether mm -hmm. you're having the best day ever or the worst day ever, we want the game to indulge you in a way where it's like, nothing really matters outside of this. Like I want to dedicate 30 minutes to whatever, to play this game today. And I'm, I, like, I don't care how much I'm earning. I don't care what I'm earning. I just want this game 
to be some form of escape in the best way possible at my best or my worst. And that's really what we're building Super Bowl for. We mm -hmm. want you to be able to speed run it if you want to. We want you to be able to explore it if you want to. And we want it to be able to make sense too with what we're doing. So like, you know, that's really what we're building here. And as much as we, as much as we want to go down the rabbit hole of everything that's to come, we have to kind of bite our tongues and hold ourselves back on this. But that's kind of what we're doing this for. Like we love gaming. We all grew up gaming. Um, there's plenty of resources out there that people can just look around uh -huh. and see. It's like, okay, these guys are, you're 28. You've had this account since you were 12. So you've yep. been on this form longer than you've been alive, you know? So it's just like gaming is very much ingrained in all of us. And it's so cool to be on the side where we actually get to build it and have a community that we get to kind of like communicate to, which we're working on. Like there's so many moving parts, but I think in the last few months, we've been making a big effort to keep everyone on top of it with weekly updates and things that are coming. So um, I encourage anyone who's out there to ask me. I'm in Telegram daily, Discord daily. Um, please don't text me if you get my number. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if you have any questions, please ask us and we always will get back to you. Um, and thank you all for kind of just like staying with us through any growing pains and, you know, just the, nor the nuances that come with Web3 and, uh, you know, a, a new language that we have to learn and build in as well. Yep. And everyone should just take a step back, relax, breathe in, breathe out, uh, because there's so much happening. And I think everyone needs to learn um, all of it. So, I mean, I, I, I'm enjoying it. And uh, I think everyone should too. And um, maybe where's it best uh, to stay updated with you? Discord is definitely our best. Discord. Uh, line of just announcements and staying up to date with everything that's going on with the arcade. I think Discord as well. Um, I will always echo the big things that the big things in Discord mm -hmm. that happen in Telegram whenever it happens. So I'll always make sure I pin a post in there and you're able to see that too. But Discord, just in terms of organization, because you can kind of see like launch a project here, uh, partner here, uh suggestions here so it's much easier to kind of like organize yourself through discord versus telegram mm -hmm. but we, we we can do both but we prefer telegram as a, i mean discord as a team wow that's crazy yeah <laughs> and uh there there are i think a few things building on cadena uh also regarding the i don't know web3 experience i know that cadora is building some stuff which is gonna be awesome but Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask you if you've connected with Catcast by any chance. Oh. Early on, we did. Early on, when they first entered the scene, mm -hmm. we spoke with the Catcars team. Um, and we actually found a lot of, like, uh, a common ground because they're building a game as well. Mm -hmm. But recently, we haven't spoken to them Uh But yeah, there's so, like you said, there's so much going on in the Cadena space. It's it's hard to keep up with everyone all the time. So especially if, when you're in Berlin in the bunker party, <laughs> <laughs> right? Some, right. Some alpha, some alpha there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I haven't spoken to them recently. We'd love to open the line of communication with them again mm -hmm. um, in the near future. You know, no, actually, much have sparked the idea i might reach out to them and see how they're doing you know they I, as far as i know they they are really building it and i'm i'm really excited for them so i don't know maybe wanna <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll, we'll be on top of it as you said we as we said before it's a builder's market so like sometimes you open up a conversation you have a conversation and then four months go by and then people are like oh hey sorry i forgot the yeah yeah, so yeah that's yeah, just yeah. kind mm -hmm. of what this probably is with us yep. like who we we couldn't we couldn't tell you right now off the top i'm sure that laugh is on top of it but there's a ton of projects I just that, DM them. <laughs> <laughs> there's a ton of projects that we're very we're very tight with we're open, we have communication with them and we may not talk for a few months few weeks whatever but at the end of the day like once we get a conversation going something is always something comes of it that's good whether it's a partnership whether it's a giveaway whether it's something to engage both communities we We love to do that, and that's why we're big fans of everyone building the Cadena ecosystem. Yeah. So whether you're building another launchpad, another marketplace, another game, whatever, we can all work together, and there's plenty of places where we can all fit. Um, I don't think that there should ever be 
And this is, like, I don't think there should ever be a monopoly in Web3. I think mm -hmm. that creators and people all should come together and create one unique experience for the respective ecosystems and communities that they're within. So that's kind of where we stand on everything. And there's plenty of people out there that we may not have worked with before or we haven't got back to. Send us a message and we'll do the same. And I'm sure we can figure out something in the few, in the coming months or years together. Um, I just, I, I personally, from our team's point of view, we do not, we, we think competition is useless and we do not like, we don't compete with anyone. Mm. We're so focused on what we're building and we want to find a way to embed everyone into that experience and reward just everyone that is in, is in this with us in the Kadena ecosystem together. I think that's very beautifully said. And um, yeah, we're I think- We're having fun, Noah. Yeah, the moment, none of us are having fun. We'll walk away. We're having fun 100%. with this. So uh, this... the arcade's all about having. You don't walk into an arcade and be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> that's you true. Know, you want to walk. Yeah, you want to walk into an arcade and have fun. So that's yeah. that's literally what. That's why we're arcade dot fun. You know, it's all about having fun with it. Whether it's mm. Super Bowl, whether it's the many other games on yep. Cadena or outside of Cadena, right? If you're having fun and earning then that's awesome you know that's that's the goal that's it yeah um and uh yeah like i i think i think that's pretty much all i have um feel free to just chime in guys we can kind of have like a freestyle just whatever for the last five minutes but um as far as we stand man like like a said we just want to have fun with it the moment that all of us stop having fun i'm sure we will have to have that discussion and you know figure out the next steps from there but it's been a blast building it this far Mm -hmm. And I'll say, I'll, I'll personally just say it, man, like we, even if, even if you've ever been like, I hate the arcade, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you see this and you're like, okay, it, I, I like putting a face and hearing the story behind the product we're building. We, we believe everyone's entitled to an opinion and we welcome everyone with open arms. So the way that we see it, man, like we understand that web three is, it's a melting pot of confusion sometimes. And, you know, people want to be heard and they want to express how they're feeling. And we think everyone's entitled to that. So whether or not you're in our Discord now, you left, you're still in it, whatever, please, please always reach out to us, man. We love everybody that is in within Kadena. And at the end of the day, we're building a fun experience for all of our users and the entire ecosystem. So if you want to partner with us, please reach out. If you want to join our Discord and learn more or Telegram, please reach out. Um, we welcome everyone with open arms. And we, you know, if, you, if people are funding us and you, this is something as well, we just don't, we're not going to entertain it because we're building this for fun. We're not building this to make it mm. seem like who has a better this, who has a better that. So we will never respond to petty fun regarding all this stuff because at the end of the day, what we're building is so much more than one person's take. And, yep. you know, that, that's all I have on that. Yeah, man. Have you ever thought about um, having, like setting up miners for, for rewards? Like um. <laughs> I, I personally no, no. no but if we do ourselves that'll go through, personally that'll go through a partner that'll go through a partner no, but, Our, ourselves personally no uh for the arcade uh -huh. no as well um we've never uh kind of um we've never tinkered with the idea of mining and the miners uh because that's just like a a world that's outside of our realm mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. in-depth understanding. Uh, we all have, are you raising your hand? <laughs> we, we, all have, <laughs> we all have very, very, very strong understanding of gaming. But when it comes to the world of mining, we're all novices. So we feel like uh, it would take us a couple of months, if not, you know, a year to mm -hmm. really, really understand everything that comes with mining and the rewards and scaling it before we were ever to venture into that world. But I just wanted to say, if you guys want to touch on the energy side, please let's give some alpha on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we're expanding the arcade brand to include merchandise uh, centered around gaming. So oh, yeah, I'm think, waiting on some merch. Yeah, Patrick's <laughs> finalizing a few things right now uh shut so we're the, working shut on the trademark issues but we're good we're good though no, i got you yeah we're, we're working on ga gaming oh, mouse awesome. pads uh headsets uh -huh. um potentially a gaming drink 
Mm. And just like really, really taking the idea of the arcade and bringing it to life uh, so that you can, you know, enter the arcade in the world of Web3, but also uh, rock your arcade gear in the world of Web2, right? Mm. Uh, And like support the arcade. So we're really excited about that stuff. We've seen a lot of other NFTs across ecosystems um, introduce merch merch that we loved and bought ourselves uh so we're we're really looking forward to that so stay on stay on the lookout and there are going to be opportunities in the future to earn merch by playing so just some really cool ideas and 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 a lot of the merch will be exclusive to holders so we'll be we're integrating um an api to be able to to restrict access to certain merch items um, on what you hold or how much you hold of whether it's arcade or NFTs. So that would be really cool too. There will be arcade utility with select items on merch as well, just to throw that out there too. Yeah, so uh, just kind of everything that's in pro- that we're building that's in the works right now. Um, if you have any questions, please always hop into any of our channels and ask us. We prefer Discord, but Telegram works too. Um, if you have questions around the energy drink we're making, the merch we're making, uh, Super Bowl, or anything within the marketplace or projects that are going to launch with us, please always reach out to us. We love to hear from everyone. And I said it before, but I'll echo it now on this, on this outro. We love to work with anyone. So if you have an idea, if you have a suggestion, or even if you just want to get feedback, we are all ears and anyone is welcome to join us, whether you have been with us in the past or you're new to it. We welcome everyone with open arms and we want to help grow the Kodani ecosystem uh, accordingly and together. So please always reach out to us if you have any questions. Um, Kadi usually runs a Twitter. So if you have any questions on Twitter, please reach out and they'll filter it through to all of us. But um, it's been a blast. Noah, and thank you so much for help hosting this and having us on your platform. And uh, the questions in Alpha you have got out of us <laughs> have been great. But um, it's always nice to chat with you, man. Thank you so much, Joel, again, for being a supporter of us very early on and even now in the future and always having our back. So we really appreciate it. Always. Also, thanks for taking the time, stepping in here and, yeah, giving us some updates. I mean, it, it's, it was over an hour, so I also value uh, your time here. And um, I'm very excited to see where you guys go, how uh, 2023 is going to look like. I mean, I, I know it's going to be epic, but, um, yeah. I'm so happy how things are turning out and how this is all going. So the Bulls are minting on the 1st of January. You can check out the, the Super Bowl game. Yeah, stake your arcade tokens, guys. If you have any questions, as already said, you can check them out on Discord, Twitter, all of that, or leave some comments down here. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, I'll see you in the next interview or video. See ya. Thank you, guys.